Do you want to know what makes love grow? What makes love grow? It's half of your deen, said the prophet, peace be on him. Half of your deen, it's part of Islam, increasing your iman. Half of our deen, half of our deen. Half our deen. Isn't it funny how people claim to be more religious? Ahi, I don't think I am better than you. I just don't think you are as good as me. What you're talking, brother? I am Hafiz, you are nothing? <laughs> nothing? Nothing? A parent can memorize. You don't even act Muslim. What you're talking is, can't you see? You have this, and I have this, plus I'm wearing soap. Abu Lahab or so. That doesn't make you religious. If anything, I am more religious than you. <laughs> I am president of the masjid. That is president. You are not president. You are zero. You are president, but you don't even pray. You only come to the masjid for elections. Only. Shush, I am better than you. You, shush, I am better than you. As crazy as it sounds, I've had my fair share of interesting characters that I've come across. I remember one time me and my friends were traveling and we decided to stop at a masjid to pray. The community had already prayed so we decided to pray on our own. So we picked a knowledgeable person among us to lead the salah. And right when we are about to start praying, two guys walk in and says, we haven't prayed yet, do you mind if we join you? We were like, of course, come in, you can join us. And then one of the guys was like, my friend is obviously more religious than any of you, so he will be leading the salah. Okay, come, come, come. And then his friend, the so-called religious guy, walks up. I'm thinking to myself, who is this guy? What a character! Joke! Big time joke! Isn't it funny how quickly we judge people from their outside appearance? If a person looks religious, then obviously he must be pious, right? Right? Wrong. If anything I've learned from traveling all around the world and meeting people from all different walks of life is that you can't judge a book by its cover. The fact is the outside appearance doesn't tell you anything about the intention of the person. If anything, it could be misleading. Because a person who looks pious could be a hypocrite among the people. And a person who doesn't necessarily look religious could be better than you and me. The problem is that we build stereotypes of what a pious person looks like. You meet so many people spending so much of their time just so they can look religious and not enough time trying to act religious. Unfortunately, these are the same people who spend most of their time backbiting the other people who don't look as religious as they do. Remember, the words that roll off your tongue is not what makes you a good Muslim, but rather is the action of your limbs and the intention in your heart. And then you come across those people who change just when they gain a little bit of knowledge. They start looking down upon the same people they used to hang out with. And for whatever reason, they start feeling that they're somehow better than others. I used to hang out with you losers. Now I'm better than you. They start to believe that somehow their new religious appearance somehow makes them higher than those around them. They carry themselves in such a self-righteous way that their own knowledge makes them arrogant. Not because of their appearance, but because of their attitude, because of the way they carry themselves. That same arrogance is what alienates them from the same people that they think they're guiding. As a reminder for you and for myself, Shaitan did not go astray because he lacked knowledge. But rather it was his belief that he was better than Adam. That is what made him go astray. So we must be very careful before we judge others, because the ultimate judge is not you or me. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you never know who's doing things to please the people and who's doing things to please their creator. But as a reminder to you and myself, we have to be very careful not to get into that position where we think we're better than those around us. Because your outside appearance alone does not make you pious. Because if anything Islam teaches us is that we should become more humble no matter what gifts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. If anything, if you're truly religious, then it will show by your actions and that means you will be truly humble. They say the more you learn, the more you realize how much you don't know. And I know nothing. I'm not a scholar, nor am I trying to pretend to be one. I'm just a regular brother sitting in a chair trying to make a positive difference. And I'm no different than anyone that watches these videos. 
So as much as I would love to do thousands of topics and thousands of videos, I can't. I struggle through many of the issues that you guys struggle with. So don't ever think that I'm better than anybody else because that's not my, that's not my intention whatsoever. Instead, I try to talk about the topics with the hopes that we bring up these issues within the Muslim Ummah, inshallah. And there's a lot of people out there who believe in the same messages and want to see a positive difference within the Ummah. So if you are one of those people, and if you like these videos, please spread them around, post them anywhere you want, and inshallah with the hopes that we can all gain barakah from them. And may we see the fruits of our efforts on the Day of Judgment, inshallah. And with every video, I'm reminding myself, just like I'm reminding you guys. That's why I repeat it twice. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. You, Shush, I am better than you!